Hey, what's up Tree Fraud Trekkers? This is Tony. I'm a teacher here at Tree Fraud Treks and I was able to get a video of Blondie, our albino Burmese python, shedding her skin. She does this every few months. There she is right there. You can say hi to her. Um, and snakes shed their outer layer of skin a couple times a year as they grow. They grow their entire lives. And there's the nice translucent outer layer of skin there made of keratin, which is nature's plastic. We use it for our fingernails, for our hair, uh, rhino horns are made of keratin, bird feathers are made of keratin, it's an amazing substance. And that's her body sliding through the layer that's already shed out. Um, and she's kind of winding it around this piece of wood. And right there, around the middle of her body, is where the skin is actually coming off. You can see it peeling off right there. Uh, we have, really have no idea what it feels like, but we do know that snakes are very vulnerable during this time. And uh, fairly antisocial and possibly aggressive. So we never take our animals out when they're shedding. There she is doing a little chemo reception with her tongue, flicking in and out and uh, getting molecules, pushing it up to her Jacobson's organ at the, at the roof of her mouth so she can kind of smell and sense what's going on around her. All reptiles um, smell that way. There's her tail. She's almost done shedding. This is a long process. It's probably 30 minutes to an hour. You can see right there, her eyes have no eyelids Snakes don't have eyelids. Their skin actually covers their eye, and before they start shedding, their eye kind of turns bluish, uh, milky white as the skin is coming off of it and loosening up and getting ready to shed. We usually keep these skins, especially if it's a nice big piece, to show to children, have them feel it. It feels a little bit like plastic, um, a little bit like paper, kind of crinkly once it dries out. You can see she's got small scales uh, right up over there. Yeah, it's stuck to the wood a little bit. It's a little moist as it comes off. And they have much bigger scales on their bottom um, to help them push themselves along the ground in a concertina motion. And you can see the bigger scales right over there. And there she is. You can see um, some holes right in front of her mouth. Those are heat-sensing pits. And she's just one of the many animals we have at Tree Frog Treks. Check out treefrogtreks.com.